Welcome on to our video lecture series on high system in system simulations. So this is our topic today, how to define streams in HISIS and UNISIM environment. We all know both HISIS and UNISIM are extremely popular softwares for designing and simulation of chemical process plants. So our objective is to show the very basics of these simulation softwares and then we will go into more and more complicated problems. So today first we will go to discuss the first problem. What is the first problem? Define a water stream. Water stream. So we are going to define a water stream, remember. Conditions for this water streams are 25 degrees Celsius. Pressure is 1 bar and the flow rate is 100 kilomoles per hour. So let's go to the simulation software and see how we do it. So this is a Unisim uh, software. So first thing what are you going to do, we are going to open a new case. And when you hit the new case, this window comes in, which calls the simulation basis manager. The very first thing we do is to input all the components that will be present during simulation. So hit on this view. In this case, of course, we have water only. That's the only component. So we have to add select in the selected component we have to make it water here and that can be done See, here is a database of all the components a large number of components which are already put in the database of this simulation softwares so we have to do the water this can be done either by the full name or by the simulation name okay or by the formula so let's try formula so we let's put h to o and as you can see, this comes in. So either you hit enter or add pure. Or also you can just write down as water. And automatically the same water comes in. So we'll just hit add pure. So this is the only component we have. So the utility of this window is done. So we just close it. Next, for these components, we have to find this, find out a suitable uh, thermodynamic uh, equation of state or a database to find to calculate the properties of those components present uh, in in your system. In this case, water. So what we do, we just add add here and a list of different thermodynamic equations of states comes in and the correlations for steam normally we go for this a semi steam or for nbs steam so let's try a semi stream so this is uh, so you see this a semi steam has been chosen so we just close this window here so what we have done so far we have defined uh, what the components are and we have defined you can see we have defined what the components are so we have only one component which is water and for that water we have chosen a semi steam as the uh, uh, as the database or uh, uh, in other cases it might be equations of state for simulation of their properties so once these two are done we go to the simulation environment so here what we do first we take out a stream so we right click on the stream blue one here and bring it over here and as you can see this is pale blue which means that this stream has not been defined for defining the system you double click on this one and this window comes in and this one comes by default so we just delete this one and we just write water that is up to you, whatever name you want to put. For this simulation, we have to define, for completely defining a stream, we have to give four information. One is, of course, a composition. Here, of course, we have water, only pure water. But in other cases, there will be other components present, a mixture of components present. So you have to define the compositions. Also, you have to define the conditions. Now, under the conditions, you may define any three of these. So it could be vapor or phase fraction. It could be temperature, pressure, molar flow, or 
or mass flow. So let's go to our system. So for our system, this composition here, you see automatically this water comes in here. We put one because we have pure water. So one and we hit enter. And as you can see, automatically comes here. This composition could be defined in terms of mole fraction, mass fraction, mole flows, mass flows, and the other units also. But these four are the popular one, mole fraction, mass fraction, mole flows, and the mass flows. So here, this is equal to one because it is a pure water and we hit OK. So composition has been defined. Now we go to conditions. If you remember our problem here, in the problem, we say, the temperature this for this stream temperature will be 25 degrees Celsius, pressure 1 bar, and flow rate 100 kilomoles per hour. Remember, we have already defined this is a pure water stream. So let's go here. And so, first thing we put here is 25 degrees Celsius. Now, here all the units for temperature comes in so we choose the one which is applicable to us which is 25 degrees celsius even if you put in kelvin automatically this will be converted to celsius and the pressure is one atmosphere again so many options come in in the drop down list so here we go for atmosphere uh, no, in this case, this is one bar so we go for one bar and the molar flow rate is 100 kilomoles per hour. So once we do that, so all the four informations are given. So that is composition was given. And here we have given three information, temperature, pressure, and the molar flow. The moment you do it, you see the status bar shows OK and turns green, which shows that the system has been or the stream has been completely defined. So if you go here, you see this has turned deep blue. If a stream is totally defined, it turns deep blue. If it is not totally defined, then it turns, it turns, it, it remains pale blue. Okay. And then you can see a lot of other information. Now let's go to problem two. In the problem two, we see it says create a one material stream that contains again water only water only with the following conditions okay a semi stream which we have done before so that's going to remain the same flow rate also 100 kilomoles per hour pressure is one atmosphere and paper phase fraction is 1.0 so we'll show you what's the utility of paper phase fraction and if we give this four information what are the four information that's a pure water that is number one composition this is number two number three and number four or once we give this formation for information the stream will be automatically defined so here you see that the temperature automatically comes into 100 degrees celsius why because at one atmosphere for pure water one atmosphere and vapor fraction 1.0 that means this is saturated vapor so this is saturated vapor if saturated vapor means that at one atmosphere if it is saturated steam then of course the temperature is going to be 100 degrees celsius so let's see if that comes in our simulation software or not so we go here and we click on this one of course, for this one, the con composition remains one that is pure uh, water. And under the conditions here, the temperature, as we remember, we said so 100 degrees Celsius. So this is good. No, the pressure is going to be. We go here. Sorry, we go here. Pressure is one atmosphere, flow rate is 100 kilomoles per hour, and the vapor fraction is 1.0. Here, uh, so we delete all these here, we delete all these here, and we start again. So the motor flow rate is 100 kilomoles per hour. Okay, the pressure is now one atmosphere, not bar. So, although they are very close, so we go to one atmosphere. And here, the vapor fraction I put as 1. The moment I give 1, automatically 4 informations are already given. Composition is given. And the 3 information here, which is vapor fraction. That means I am saying this is saturated vapor or saturated steam at 100 Celsius at, 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 at pressure of 1 atmosphere. That is 101.3 kilopascals. 
So what are those one, two, and three form formations are given, and of course composition is one, four. So that makes it. If I make it one, you can see this turns green, and you see the temperature has been calculated as one hundred Celsius. These blue ones are the one which I input, I give to the system, and the black ones are the values which are calculated by the system. So of of course this is true. For pure steam at one atmosphere, the temperature would be 100 degrees Celsius. And of course, zero, if I put zero here, that would be saturated liquid. So if I put zero here, let's see what happens. If I put zero here, automatically this temperature also remains 100 degrees Celsius because this is saturated liquid. This is not compressed liquid. So at one atmosphere, again, the temperature of saturated liquid, which is about to boil, the temperature will be again 100 degrees Celsius. Okay. So this part is given. So let's go to the next problem here, problem three, which says, repeat the EVA procedures by replacing pressure with, with temperature 150 degrees Celsius. That means here the flow rate is going to be flow rate is going to be 100 kilomoles per hour. The pressure is going to be so we have to find out what is the pressure, what is the saturation pressure because I am saying vapor fraction is going to be equal to 1.0. So what is the pressure when what is the pressure uh, when the temperature of the saturated vapor is 150 degrees Celsius? What is the pressure when the temperature of saturated steam is 150 degrees Celsius? The answer is 476 kilopascals. And of course, you can find out this one from steam table. You will see this is the values. And let's see if HISIS can calculate the same value or not. So again, remember this is pure water, flow rate 100, vapor fraction is going to be 1.0 saturated vapor and temperature 150 degrees Celsius. So we go here, so we delete all these here, we delete first all these blue ones because these are the ones I have given. So molar flow rate is I am putting 100. In fact, it really does not matter because we're calculating the property. You can put 100, 1, 1000, whatever value because the flow rate really does not change the property. So we're just putting 100 here. And of course, we have to calculate the pressure in this case. It's temperature, we have to put 150 Celsius. And this is a saturated stream. So I put equal to 1. And let's see what happens. Again, you see the status burn turn screen, which shows that all the values have been obtained. And you see the pressure. So at 476 kilopascals, temperature of saturated steam is 150 degrees Celsius. That's what it says. So here we go. And this is the result what we get. And of course, this can be confirmed from the steam table. If you go to the steam table, you'll find out the same value here. So this gives you an overview of how to define a stream in the high seas or in the same environment. So in the next lecture, we're going to discuss on this thermodynamic uh, packages, thermodynamic equations of state which are already built in, the databases which are already be built in, and how to use those built-in uh, information for uh, simulation of a chemical process plants. That will be the subject of our next lecture. Okay.